Hey everyone, so following the videos that I actually posted with regards to downloading torrents using your phone and your Synology NAS drive, I've had a few comments posted saying that they either don't have download station installed on their NAS drive or they're not sure how to do that. So I thought I'll do a quick video just giving you details on how to go through that. So first thing you need to do is just navigate into your actual NAS drive web utility essentially. Um, and you can do it a number of ways. I've got a link saved just here, but if I just click on that, I'll show you what it's actually doing. So it's basically just pulling the IP address of the NAS drive itself. So in my instance, I've got it as a static IP for 192.168.0.3, and then the port number, so for mine, it's 5000. Uh, once you're there, you, you basically just enter your username and password. I've got it saved, that's why it auto-populates, and then just hit sign in. Once you've signed in, um, this is the, let me just get rid of all the pop-ups. This is the actual application that you need to install. And on the Synology NAS, as you can see from the interface, it's, it's relatively simple in terms of how you actually install it. So all you need to do is, whether you've got all of these on your desktop or not, um, if you haven't, you literally just click this icon here, which is similar to your start button, and then you go to Package Center. Once you're in Package Center, if you don't already have it installed, literally on this main, uh, so you have your install section with all your apps, and then you have all packages, and all you need to do is literally just scroll down a little and you'll get to download station. Once you're on download station, obviously mine says open because it's already installed. If I just come back to anything, so if I click on that for example, this is what you will see. So essentially you'll see a little install button, and then all you need to do is click on install. So if I just come back out and go back to download station and then once it's installed, it'll look like this. Okay. Once you click on open, this is essentially what you will end up with. Now you can either do your preferences in here or you can do it on the phone app. It doesn't make any difference. So for example, um, when you're actually uh, installing anything, when you're downloading anything, you can choose to have a default directory uh, within which you'll actually install. Um, that's entirely up to you whether you choose that or whether you want to set that manually each time. PC is going a bit crazy now. Um, so I'll wrap it up. But essentially as long as you have this running and once you've installed this every time your, your NAS is running it'll automatically have this running in the background. So once that's installed um, you can then continue and basically go back to uh, using the phone method and everything else will operate exactly as it as it does uh, in my video. So this you can actually use, so you can literally just pull links straight off the web and do it here. So obviously here I've got my default folder as TV shows. Let me just come in a bit closer. And then um, that's the actual path. So that's where you paste your, your link, so your magnet link or whatever you want to actually use. And you can also post, paste in a, a link that way as well. So if you've got a full web address. Um, actually, yeah, sorry, this, this one is actually to download from a file, whereas this is what, uh, going through the actual app, this is what you'll see. So you won't actually see the file option because obviously it's, it's through the mobile app. But essentially that's, that's all you need to actually do. So you literally just choose your directory, enter the URL, and that's pretty much it. This is the, the one where basically it gives you the option for choosing which files you want to download and which ones you want to ignore. And that's about it. The good thing about this is once you've actually started a download, you don't need this this PC or this this window open anymore. You can actually close this, close this out completely, and any any installs that you've actually started or any downloads that you've started will continue in the background. So that's that's the good thing about this particular method.